Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to talk about using ChatGPT to write VBA code for Microsoft Access. Now, if you've been following my videos for any length of time, you'll know that I'm absolutely fascinated by ChatGPT. I think it's fantastic. And up until this point, I've pretty much just been using it to do like minor creative tasks. For example, I wanted to add some orders to my order entry system for the Tech Help Free template. And I was sitting there typing in orders by hand. And so I said to ChatGPT, I said, thinking about the rock group Rush, make me a list of witty items from their songs to be found in a gift shop. And it was fantastic. All right, a Tom Sawyer paint set, the trees bonsai kit. This is all from ChatGPT, right? A subdivisions jigsaw puzzle. That's crazy. And then I said, okay, thinking about just the guitarist, Alex Lyson, who's known for his witty sense of humor, and even, even ChatGPT knew it was from his witty sense of humor, right? The blah, blah, blah speech bubble t-shirt based on his Hall of Fame speech and, and just all kinds of stuff. And I've pretty much been using ChatGPT for things like this and to format text, you know, to give it a list of items and have it lay it out in a table format or a CSV, and it can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Well, yesterday I decided to test it with some VBA code. All right, I said, write visual basic code for Microsoft Access to loop through the records in a table, customer T, with a record set and double every customer's credit limit. All right, loop through all the customers and just double their credit limit. And it gave me near perfect code. Uh, to achieve this task, use VBA code within Microsoft Access. First, you wanna create a module which you don't have to do, you can put it directly in a form, and then copy the following code into the module. The VBA code then creates a subroutine that loops through the records in the customer T table and doubles each customer's credit limit. And there it is, all right? I'd make a few minor changes to this, but it's pretty much perfect code. And you can copy the code. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna take it over to my tech help free template. Let's open that up. I'm gonna go to a module down here and I'm gonna drop that code in. Paste it right down here, paste. Now it gives you the option compare and option explicit, which if you're creating a new module, you don't need that because you already got it up there. So I'll just get rid of that. All right, so we got double credit limit as a subroutine. All right, it's gonna set a database object. It's gonna set an SQL statement right there to open up the customer table. It's going to create the record set object. It's gonna loop through all the records. It's gonna double the credit limit right there and the record sets properly formatted, move to the next record, close everything up, clean everything up, and give you a message box that says everything's done. I mean, and it commented everything. It wrote better code than I usually do. <laughs> I'd make a few minor changes, like I don't need to specify DAO because it's the default and I don't need to. But just, I mean, aside from that, it's pretty good. So double credit limit is the sub that it created. All right, I'm gonna close that and let's drop a button on, on the main menu here. Design view, button, drop it there. Cancel the wizard. I'm gonna right click on the button, go to build event, and right in here, we'll just call that code. I, yeah, I, I'm not, I could name the button and put captions on, but you get the point. All right, save that, close it, and let's check real quick what some of the credit limits are. So customer T, let's slide to the right, and okay, we got 5,000 and 4,000 of the first two. All right, so if I run that, it should double those. Ready, click. All right, credit limits have been successfully doubled for all customers in the customer T table. Okay, let's double check and see. Open it up, slide to the right, and look at that. 5,000 and 4,000 became 10 and eight. So the code did work. And then I got to thinking to myself, well, there's a couple extra steps in there that I knew, because of course I'm, I'm an access guy, right? So I scrolled down here and I said, how do I create a button on a form to run that code? And it gave me step-by-step -step instructions. Open the database, go to form design, find the command button, <laughs> form click, put it in there just like I did, right? So, I mean, I can see eventually chat GPT putting me out of a job when they get it to the point where they've got a, uh, a an, an AI talking personality with my sense of wit and humor, then I'll be worried. But if you're looking to write some simple code and you're not exactly sure how to do it, ask chat GPT and it'll give you the, it'll just gives you the code. Now, I have heard some reports because I posted this in my forum and I have heard some reports from a few of my students who said that they tried this and ChatGPT was doing some weird stuff. It was giving, you know, uh, properties for list boxes that don't exist, for example. So like, uh, like Gary James says, uh, bottom line, take what ChatGPT gives you with a fistful of salt. So yeah, I mean, 
I wouldn't put this in any business critical systems, but if you're just building a, a simple database, you want to test it out, check it out. You know, if if anything else, it'll give you a template to to get started to understand that stuff. Because when I was first starting to learn Access, one of the major reasons, uh, major things that helped me learn, aside from a few books, of course, was tearing apart other databases. And the Northwind database, the one that comes with Access, is fantastic. And uh, it's got a lot of great code samples in it, and they're re they're revising it, by the way. So you're gonna have you're gonna learn more about that pretty soon. So that's my take on it. I want to hear from you. Have you played with ChatGPT as far as using it with Microsoft Access, whether it's for how to do something or uh, writing code? I'm very curious as to what you have discovered with it. So post something in the comments down below. And um, there you go. There's your fast tip for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for Tech Help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are gonna keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.